Anthony, Tony, AP, or quite simply McCoy, was born in County Antrim, Northern Ireland, on the 4th of May, 1974. And although most of his winners over jumps have come across the Irish Sea, it was in his homeland that he started his magical career. He rode as an apprentice for Jim Bolger and notched up his first ever winner for that trainer on the flat in 1992 when steering legal steps to victory at Furness. Racing inside the final furlong, it's legal steps going on by four to five lengths and stretching clear as they race up towards the finish now. Legal steps out five, six in front, and his second. He quickly got used to the ups and downs of being a jockey. Before he could ride a second winner, he broke his leg in an accident while schooling. But despite being able to see his own bone and enduring the excruciating pain that came with the injury, the setback merely made McCoy even more focused. Any jockey who thinks they're going to go out and have a nice time, have a nice life, not end up in the back of an ambulance, they shouldn't be riding. And, and if they do think that, they're never any good anyway. McCoy had a large frame, so naturally his attention turned to jumps racing. He notched up his first victor under that code aboard Rizard on the 20th of April, 1994. And at the last, it's Rizyard. Julie Jones the inside, and Rizyard hit the top bar and made a mistake. And Julie Jones is rallying, but Rizyard has come back on the bridle again, going up towards the finish. And Rizyard moves away to win it comfortably by a couple of lengths. Julie Jones, a clear second best. A further 12 winners were notched up for Bolger before he made a career-changing move to Toby Balding's yard in Hampshire. The Ulsterman was soon off the mark, scoring his first British victory aboard Chickabiddy at Exeter in September 1994. Chickabiddy is staying on the stronger and is going to win it. Chickabiddy wins it by a length and a half or so, just Rosie in second. McCoy went on to record 74 wins overall that season, making him champion conditional jockey. In 1995, McCoy began his long-standing relationship with another record-breaker, 15-time champion national hunt trainer Martin Pipe, and he grabbed his first winner for the trainer aboard Crusula. Crusula has one flight between him and Victory, surely. And... McCoy was champion jockey for the first time during the 1995-96 campaign, recording a remarkable 175 victories. The 1996-97 season saw McCoy go from strength to strength and he was on good horses like Seymour Business. Being champion jockey wasn't enough for McCoy though, so he started setting more records, smashing Peter Scudamore's feet at the fastest century by 30 days. Records are there to be broken and, and Tony's gone and smashed Dad, so uh, you know he's been a fantastic sportsman over the years. McCoy also went on to be the Cheltenham Festival's top jockey that season recording a Gold Cup and Champion Hurdle double in the process. Not bad for a 22-year-old. McCoy was at it again, breaking his own fastest century record by 16 days. Could this be the fastest century over jumps for Tony McCoy as he keeps San Rocket going? San Rocket brings up a ton for Tony McCoy. He rode 253 winners altogether, smashing the National Hunt record and also banged in five at the Cheltenham Festival. And so it was no surprise he broke the record to become the fastest jockey to reach the 1,000 mark in December 1999. The champ had turned into a well-oiled machine and continued his domination of the sport and recorded his 1,500th winner at Exeter in 2001. Celtic native possibly just idling a little, but will come home leisurely enough in the end. Briary Ann, perhaps a, a little unfortunate to have made that mistake. Later that season... And even by his standards, McCoy surpassed himself after breaking Sir Gordon Richards' record of 269 winners in a season. That came on Valphonic at Warwick. He eventually went on to notch up a total of 289 winners. And on the 27th of August 2002, his victory aboard mighty Montefalco meant he had passed Richard Dunwoody's record of all-time jumps winners. A.P. McCoy, mighty Montefalco on the inside, and mighty Montefalco goes on to the final flight. Mighty Montefalco goes on. My good son is back in second, and he's not done with yet. Well inside the final furlong, mighty Montefalco now has a rail to help. He's got the mighty man aboard, Tony McCoy. Will not be denied. Here's the record: 1,700. A supreme master, Tony McCoy, and mighty Monty Falco win. 
and from Asuka to Aintree, the winners kept on coming. McCoy back with a win here. It's Dino's Bino's outstaying them all. He raced in fits and starts, but he's going good at the end. And that's what matters. Dino's Bino wins again at Ascot. Chuchev winning this race in 2001. Suffered an attack of Connick 12 months ago. Bounces back to win the Ritz Club Ascot chase in decisive fashion. Chuchev, three on the day for AP McCoy and Martin Pike. The pile died just for last tremendous style and he's quickening right away on the run here from the cool spice in second wait for the Willis next then comes Kelly and has party but it's a treble on the day for Tony McCoy as comply or die makes an impressive debut over hurdles just before his 30th birthday in 2004 McCoy decided to leave his successful partnership with Martin Pipe it was far from a simple decision and one he probably still thinks about but it was time for a new challenge with John Joe O'Neill, backed by legendary owner-punter J.P. McManus. With seemingly less firepower at Jackdaw Castle, it appeared to some that McCoy might now struggle to retain his champion jockey status. But McCoy is McCoy for a reason, and the doubters were soon silenced. The champ managed exactly 200 winners for the season and retained the prize. And since then, McCoy and O'Neill have enjoyed success with the likes of Refinement, Blackjack Ketchum and Exotic Dancer. Last year, as AP edged towards the 3,000 mark, he showed no signs of slowing down. And even an injured vertebrae couldn't stop him from riding at the Cheltenham Festival. He worked wonders to get back. Roasting in there. <laughs> However, through all his success, there's one prize that still eludes him. Every jockey wants to win the Grand National. I, I, I've won to win the Grand National since, since, I was, since I started riding, since I was a kid. Um, so yeah, I, if, you, if you're asking me do I need to win the Grand National, then yeah, that's the answer. One thing's for certain, McCoy is an inspiration to his peers. I sure he's the best jockey ever, isn't he? I mean, 3,000 winners, is, it's unthinkable, let alone unattainable. He's a, uh, a real credit to, to the sport and to have him on your side is, is a massive bonus when he's riding against you. Uh, it's a nightmare because he never gives up. He's the sort of fellow you really want to dislike because, you know, someone you're trying to beat. And um, the annoying thing is, you know, everything about him is actually a nice person and, and actually easy to get on with. So. I think one thing that always strikes me is how tough he is. You see him have a fall and you think, well, he's going to be in trouble. He gets up, shakes us up and he's out in the next race. He's very resilient, very tough. Two fences left to jump. Restless Darte is inside. On the outside, it's the package. They settle down to battle it out. The package this side. Restless Darte, the far side. One more fence left to jump. The package this side, Timmy Murphy. Tony McCoy going for the 3,000 on Restless Darte. Here they jump the last. In the air again. Restless Darte on the far side. The package this side. Can Tony McCoy get it? It couldn't be wetter, it couldn't be worse, it couldn't be colder. He's absolutely starving to bits. And he could go and ride horses like that and ride finishes like that. Can you ever imagine maybe three and a half, four thousand winners? Every day. It sounds true, you have to dream or you have to have, you, know, you have to believe that you can achieve them things, otherwise there's no point going out and I spend most of my life dreaming, so uh, I keep dreaming. Reaching 3,000 national hunt winners is an incredible milestone, but McCoy is an incredible man. That's why he is the real McCoy.